like another wedding. <laughs> Welcome to the midweek shave and um, as always I hope you're in good health and uh, every, you've had a good week so far. We're halfway through it so keep going <laughs> and apologies for Sunday, last Sunday. Um, I had an issue with the audio, I didn't know until Mrs H had said there's no audio on the video. <laughs> So I had to take the video down and redo it and then upload it, that's why I was late. So apologies for that, but we did get to the end. It um, uh, shows nothing's bulletproof. Things do go wrong now and again. And, uh, anyway, all done and I hope this one's alright. <laughs> Hopefully. Right, what are we going to use? I'm going to use this. Somebody did say in the comments, I haven't seen you use this for a while. The uh, Merca 45 or the red and black. It's a Bakelite uh, razor, non-adjustable, three-piece. And the only metal part uh, of this razor is the thread. That brass thread there. And I'm using a Treat Platinum, brand new. Um, there is overhang on this razor, quite a bit to be aware of. Very light, head heavy. Uh, there's the, if you can see, the overhang of the blade. Uh, nice razor, small, make a good travel razor and it's more medium to aggressive, it's not aggressive but it's it's more of the aggressive side than a, a standard um, head, shall we say. Um, but what soap we're using, and mind that, one of my favourites of Tobbs, grapefruit. The most realistic scent I've ever tasted, well tasted there, you see, is that realistic? I've ever smelt. Um, there's another one they do, which is another realistic peppermint, I think it was, yeah. And I'm using, and we named this the Bishop. This is the um, synthetic knot, uh, beautiful knot. So that's just wet. I'm just going to wet my face actually, just to make sure. That's lovely. Bit of a base layer. So I hope you're having some good shaves. Uh, Sunday I'll be using a shave cream all the way from Oz. Good eye, mate. Yeah, I know it's terrible. Uh, it's uh, from Queensland. Queensland. And made in Brisbane, I believe. From that area. Oh, smell this. <laughs> All I've done is put a wet brush in, the synthetic, and then just kept adding water until I get this peaked. Oh, that's it, like a meringue. That's how you want it. Well, that's how I like it. And there we go. Smell that. Go on. Ooh, don't eat it. Don't eat it. <laughs> yeah, so Australian uh, shave cream, which you can't get here. I'm not sure if you can buy it online, um, but uh, someone I know who lives in London uh, lived in Australia, in Queensland, and uh, had friends visiting. So he asked them to bring along uh, a tube of this shave cream which he used while he lived in Australia. And um, apparently there's nothing fancy I don't think but uh, he enjoyed it. And they brought him a lot of tubes so he's decided to send me one, fair play. So, um, right. So off we go. Pass number one. That can go. Merca 45, red and black, non-adjustable, lightweight. Nice blade. If I put a feather blade in this, it would feel even more aggressive. But this feels doesn't feel aggressive, it just feels that like it's just doing the job nicely. 
we've got here good audio feedback again Ah, oh, this soap's fantastic. Grapefruit. Does this mine? Does this mine? <laughs> Should we start again? Does this mean this is one of my five a day? Light touch, but it's still doing it. Good slickness from the first application tops, um, which I know is, you know, it's good stuff. Which it should be, because you do pay a good bit for it, and anything you pay for, it should be good. In one way or another. Right, that's a successful first pass. I look quite tidy, fairly, because <laughs> it's normally everywhere. But there we go. Um, that's it, and I'll see you in pass number two. And welcome to pass number two. Keep that in clean. Rinse the razor. I'm just gonna more than enough in the brush. As you can see, you can paint it on, whatever you want to do. Yeah, let's paint it on. If you want some on your shirt, you just put some on your shirt. Don't waste it. It's good to share with your clothes. That's my excuse, isn't it? Same with food. So, oh, you've made a mess on your shirt. Indeed, I have not made a mess on my shirt. I've decided to share my food with my shirt. And that's when a phone call goes out to a, a man in a white coat. And he comes and has a chat with you. <laughs> or is it just me? Oh, it's just me then. Okay. Cross the growth, okay, get on with it. Non adjustable. This is where I've got to be careful of this overhang. Very thick creamness. Lovely. No problem for this stuff, you keep it rinsed. Some people prefer a wetter lather. Some people like me like it thicker, but one thing I would say especially with this sort of cream tops. Uh, if you suffer from irritation or you're just starting out this way and you're a bit sore and razor burn, it's all natural. Uh, in the beginning, you're not uh, necessarily doing anything wrong. It's just your skin adjusting to the shaving this way because you are rubbing a blade on your skin, you know, let's face it. But um, the thicker I find, like this, leaves a really thick slickness on the skin, which protects it. Um, but you don't want it too slick, where it's um, hampering, where the razor slides over it, if you, if you understand me. But like I've said before, if you have any issues like that, just wet it, thin it out. I caught these little things again, these old nicks. There we go, pass number two, that's lovely. 
quite tidy for me really isn't it? There we go, look at that. Could go uh, This could be a live video, this it wouldn't be too embarrassing. Right. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. That's on pass number two, so on to pass number three against the growth. I'll see you there. And welcome to pass number three. So what I'm going to do now, just going to gather some more from the bowl and then I'm going to wet the brush. So you wet heads will be, oh yeah, go on, go for it. So that's it, thinner. This is a bit thinner, but it won't affect the slickness. You don't need a lot. This is a lovely brush. It's got backbone, but it's so smooth. The bristles are lovely. And the handle is uh, absolutely amazing. Grey dog. Hope you're well, sir, if you're watching. So here we go, against the growth here, look. These are the same old ones, these. Nice and gentle. Another good angle I found for my beard growth is like this now, that's going against the growth for me because it does grow that way. But I've noticed if I do, if I come like this as well, hear that. I'm getting some of them awkward ones. And we'll go against. And good luck to anyone doing them um, Movember if you're growing a goatee or a moustache or a beard. Uh, I think the hardest thing for a, a wet shaver is not shaving. <laughs> Hopefully you can see how thin this is because I wet it. And it's hampering not, no, I'm not hampering the shape in any way. Still good slickness, good coverage. I really wish you could put your hands out to feel that. In a manly way, of course. Let's get that chin smooth. The scent is amazing. Feels. Oh, sorry about that. It feels um, 
Well, it smells like somebody's just peeled a grapefruit at the side of me. That's a. Sorry about doing that then. I heard a, like a rustling here. Something moving. Strange. Maybe I'm not alone. Maybe you can see things. Don't tell me. Not till I finished. <laughs> right, you know what time it is now. So if there is somebody here, it's pick up time. Indeed it is, pick up time. Welcome to pick up time. And there's enough on the brush. If anything, I always make a bit too much lather. But I'd rather that than, well let's face it, I'm not short of it. I'd rather too much than too little. And you can never have too much of this. This scent. See how thick and pasty that is. This is like the a fifth pass, really. Well, fourth pass. Can't can pull. No, I can't. Here, there. Where is you've missed a few. I like it just on here. Very lightly though. That's excellent. Right, so rinse off after pickup time. You can feel that slickness. Right, I'm going to use two things. Keep the face wet. Uh, a few people have said use the alum. Alum will use. Welcome, alum. Right. No feedback. No feedback. a bit there. That's lovely. Right, you stay there. The only thing with this alum, it takes all the um, slickness away. So I just rinse off. So. Oh, it feels good. Feels good. Right, that's what it's all about. I'm also going to use Thayer's. You don't have to use the two. It might be some people go, oh, it's a waste. Never a waste. If I want to do it, if you want to do it, it's not a waste. Peach, that's why I'm doing it. So, grapefruit, this is my two of my five a day. Oh, whew, smell that! That can't be, how can that be a waste? Go on. Oh, put your hand out, you can have a bit. There you go. Put some everywhere. Oh, that's 
beautiful. Oh, that is nice. Okay, don't get too excited, Paul. Where did I miss a bit there? Shouldn't do this, really. There you go, that's all right. Okay, and then, making sure that's gone off. Oh, I wish I could go and smell that. Duro lemon. One of the loveliest lemon scents aftershave cologne. There we go. Lemon. Three of my five a day. Shouldn't have put that on the forehead, but love this. I wish this lasted longer. It's lovely. That is lovely, there you go. And to put the moisture back, and I've got a feeling this is going to be a lovely combo, Nivea Originals, can't beat it. There you go. Rub it into warm hands. And this gives you the protect, oh smell it, yes, thank you. I'd love to be in a, a lab laboratory, laboratory in a lab where they do perfumes and and say to them with this scent now, make that into a soap, make that into a cologne. Paul H cologne. Be good, wouldn't it? Right, stop mumbling. Okay, sorry about that. Do you talk to yourself? <laughs> you don't. It's just me. Right, okay. So we'll go quickly on. We've used Merca 45 red and black Bakelite, not plastic, Bakelite. Three piece, non adjustable, good overhang to be aware of. Uh, nice little razor, very light, head heavy. That's only because of the blade and the, the thread, really, the brass thread. Very light razor. This fantastic stuff. The most realistic scent, uh, Taylor Vol Bond Street Grapefruit Shaving Cream. And apparently they've stopped making it. Marvellous, isn't it? Something goes well. It's going well, that. I'll tell you what, let's stop it. Uh, I can't work it out. Use this beauty here from Grey Dog, this um, the Bishop, the uh, Synthetic Knot brush. Beautiful brush to look at, to hold, to use. And the knot is lovely. Um, we also have used a treat blade, and a good thing with these, they come in a box like that, is they're double wrapped, and that's a sign of a good blade. If they go to the trouble of like a grease proof paper one, that's what it's in, and then that goes inside that. It's a good sign that if it's double wrapped. Uh, use the red mixing bowl, obviously. And then, what do we do? Rinse off, use the alum. Then I used Thayer's, which hazel, the peach. Then I used Duro uh, Le Limon, or Lemon, Limon, Cologne, beautiful stuff. And then to put the moisture back and protection, Nivea Originals. And that is one very happy and relaxed and uh, enjoyable midweek shave. Very happy. That'll see me on now to the end of the week. And I hope yours does too. So thanks for watching, as always, thanks for your comments, your support, and uh, hope you have some great shaves, stay in good health, happy and positive, hopefully, and um, I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave, take care.